Hi CISSP aspirant, welcome to the CISSP Twister of the Day number 128. As you know, my name is Manoj Sharma and I am the founder for Cybernos. I run a very specific program called as CISSP Success Toolkit to help you pass the CISSP exam. This is the only and only, uh, you know, uh, course in the entire uh, world which not only prepare you for the CISSP concept, this also prepare you from the exam perspective as well through our weekend trainings. Now today's twister I have taken from the objective number 8.2 and here we are going to talk about database security. Now let's go through this particular question. A cyber security leader is overseeing the upgrade of a database management system to ensure enhanced transaction integrity for financial records. Which ACID property should be the primary focus to ensure that each transaction is processed reliably amid potential system failures? Very good questions. Uh, feel free to uh, you know pause this particular video, take a minute to answer this particular question and I am going to explain you in the next 10 seconds. So I hope by now you might have already uh, find out the right answer. Let me explain you this particular question and then you can also cross check your answer and understanding on that. A cyber security leader is overseeing the upgrade of database management system. Uh, obviously this question relates to database management system to ensure enhanced transaction integrity. So another keyword here is transaction integrity for financial records. Which ACID property? Now this is another keyword and this requires some more explanation. But first let's complete this kind of keywords here. Uh, which ACID property should be the primary focus to ensure that each transaction is processed uh, reliably amid potential system failures. Now when it comes to databases, we need to first understand the ACID model. Let's go with A of the ACID model. A stands for atomicity. Atomicity means uh, that a particular database should be structured and you know architected in such a way that if a particular transaction fails in middle somewhere, right, it is either 0 or 1. It cannot remain in middle somewhere. A transaction if fails in the middle somewhere, it has to be rolled back to the previous state. And that is what we mean by atomicity. The next keyword here is uh, C. C stands for consistency. Consistency means that all database transactions has to undergo as per the database uh, security policy. It should not be lending the database itself in an insecure state at any point of time. It has to follow all the security policies which has been set up as part of the database. Isolation is the next uh, thing in the ACID thing, right? So I stand for isolation, which simply means that each of the transaction has to be processed in isolation. It should not be hampering or it should not be interfering with the adjacent transactions which are happening on the system. So that is what stands for isolation. The last word D stands for durability, which means that a particular database if a particular transaction has been committed, it has to remain there. It should not happen that, for example, you booked a flight today uh, and you are very satisfied when you reach to the airport, the airport people come and say, sorry, sir, this particular transaction actually got reverted. It should not happen. Once a particular commit has happened, then that particular transaction or the commit should be durable at all times. So this is a very vital property of a particular database. Now in our question, they say which ACID property should be the primary focus to ensure that each transaction is processed reliably amid system failure. Let's say there is a transaction happening and in which in the middle some part or some component of the entire transaction fails, then what should happen? In that case, the transaction has to come back to the previous state, right? That means uh, as if the transaction has not happened, it has to come back to the zero state. And that property is nothing but called as atomicity. 
So atomicity is the right answer here in this particular case. And rest all I have already explained you. If you like this particular question, these are the kind of questions which naturally they are going to test you in the CISSP exam. If you like it, uh, do consider subscribing this particular channel and share with your friends and family as well. And those people definitely who are uh, looking for CISSP preparation. If you want to more, if you want this thing more and you want to prepare for CISSP in a very structured manner, there is a 100 days CISSP success plan which I have created for you guys wherein on a daily basis we go and practice certain videos, uh, questions and notes. You don't even need to refer to any book. I have all my own notes which I have created over a period of time. I have been teaching for CISSP for last seven years and uh, you know so many people uh, are getting certified by using this particular program. You can check out my LinkedIn profile for the same. And uh, you know, if you like it, definitely do come back for looking at my next TOTD maybe tomorrow. And uh, till then, all the best for your CISSP success. All the best. Thank you.